Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the new Zodiac monthly read. Today we have a monthly reading for all of my amazing Leos out there. For those of you that are new, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen. I'm a spiritual advisor, intuitive coach, and I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every week right here on this channel. We truly appreciate every single one of you being here, and we value and appreciate you all. So all we can ask is that you please subscribe, give our videos a like. It truly does help our content. Comment down below if you desire and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I release new content. So let's get into today's Leo message. Hi, my beautiful Leo. So today we are going to see what spirit, what the angels and the ascended masters want you to know for this coming month in the month of February. Please note that this is going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single Leo out there. So I ask that you take with you what you want and leave the rest behind. Also, be sure that you check out your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign so that you can get a more in-depth message on your whole perspective for the month of February. So let's get right into it. Angels, archangels, guides, ascended masters, what information do you have for Leos this month? What information do you have for Leos this month? What information do you have for Leos this month? What information do you have for Leos this month? All right, first card out was, oh, beautiful. We have, so our first card out is um, the fate. So right now I'm gonna do some oracle cards and then we're gonna get right into the tarot. Let's see, do you have any other information for my Leos this month? Do you have any other information for my Leos this month? other information okay one more time anything else for my leos apparently not okay all right so we have the fates and i absolutely love this leo so what this really tells me is that you are being divinely guided um you are literally being divinely guided in your path in life, your spiritual awakening. Um, and it sort of feels like you almost are sort of experiencing that um, things are just um, synchronistically happening for you. And it just seems like automatic magic that things are just happening without you even um, doing anything that you automatically think something or you may be making a wish and not really realizing, but recognize that you have a very important purpose um, in your specific um, life, in your specific area. And this is truly about you recognizing your own worth, recognizing that you come from the stars, right? Um, I really feel that this is really um, sort of spirit's way of letting you know that if you've been questioning whether you maybe have some star seed in you, or you've been questioning um, if there is any significant purpose to your life. The universe and spirit and the angels are really wanting you to know that there is some significance to your life. There is purpose. Um, and this is really a part of you going on your own spiritual quest and your own spiritual journey. So let's get some additional information with the tarot and see what else we can get for you today, Leo. Angels, Archangels, Guides, Ascended Masters, what additional information do you have for my Leos? Well, right off the bat, we got the Emperor, and I absolutely love this because all of my Leos out there, you've got some massive divine masculine energy. Now, it does not matter whether you are a female or a male. Um, we all have both masculine and feminine energies within us. What I love about um, masculine, the divine masculine energy is that it truly brings about action and it truly brings about um, growth and expansion. Um, okay. 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 
So it brings about growth and expansion. And um, we already have two fours that are side by side. So 44 is um, considered a master number and it brings in um, the frequency of, so fours really talks about stability. Um, in case you haven't figured it out, I am a numbers girl. I love looking at numbers because they do provide us with more detailed information. So fours are about stability. Um, it's also about building a proper foundation, right? Um, and when you when you add the fours together, it's really about abundance, prosperity, manifestation. Okay, two more. What additional information do you have for my Leos? What additional information? Oh, beautiful. Okay. All right. Because I love looking at numbers, I like to see what we have. So as I mentioned, we have two fours side by side. So if you're into angel numbers, definitely you're going to want to look up the number 44. Um, all right. Okay. So I have nine cards in front of me and also bottom deck energy, Leo. So um, what I want you to know is that this is basically we're going to start off with where you are and we're going to end up what your outcome is should you take the steps and the advice that spirit gives you. So we are starting off, as I mentioned earlier, the emperor. OK, now what I love about this is that the oracle card gave us fates, OK, which is a 17 which reduces to an eight, which is about abundance, prosperity, and manifestation, right? Um, the emperor is a very powerful, divine, masculine energy. So if you were really to look at something like, you know, Mother Earth or Father Earth, uh, the emperor is really about the, is the father figure of, of everything. And he is very strategic in his planning. He's very organized. He's very loving, very nurturing. Um, he cares for everyone and everything around him, okay? But he also makes very detailed, he takes very detailed steps and very detailed action, okay? So what I really feel that where you are right now is maybe you're wanting to expand or you're wanting to grow. You're wanting to change jobs. You're wanting to sort of move in a very different, um, different adventure than you, than you're used to, right? Maybe you sort of feel called or maybe you sort of feel that spirit is calling you in a new direction, okay? And this is really about growing and expanding not only your awareness, but your consciousness, but also your experiences in life, okay? You then move into the four of wands. And I absolutely love this because the four of wands is really about a celebration, um, but a lot of readers will identify the four of wands as the twin flame card. Now, I'm not really getting twin flame right now because I'm looking at the rest of the cards and I don't really feel that this is about love and I normally don't do love readings. What I really see in this um, four of wands is I see the 1111, which is an activation code. So right now, I really feel that you're sort of transitioning into this higher level of ascension and of awakening and you're probably noticing um, numbers. Okay. You're probably noticing like repetitive numbers, like one, 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 or two, 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 or 11, 11, 10, 10, 12, 12. Like if you're noticing those kinds of numbers, that is spirit's way of communicating with you and letting you know you're going through an awakening process. And this is really a time for you to celebrate and to be in the flow. Recognize that you're going to have highs and you're going to have lows, right? Um, and that's because what's happening is, the divine masculine is really activating within you. So I really feel like currently the way that things have been flowing in the planet lately is that we've had a lot of activated divine feminine energy and a lot of the divine masculine has sort of been 
I want to say dormant, um, but we're going to have a lot more divine masculine energy that is sort of going to be awakening because we're being called to balance out our energies. We're being called to balance out who we are at the core in order for us to ascend to a higher level. Now, the Four of Wands also speaks about solid foundations, being secure, being stable, and celebrating in your successes. And so I really feel that this is a really good time, um, not only in you being in that emperor mode, but also m going with the flow and allowing yourself to be free in that flow. We then move into the Page of Pentacles, okay? Okay. Now, the Page of Pentacles is really about um, you. I sort of feel like this is really, this is really you, Leo, um, where you're not only dreaming of things that you're wanting to bring to fruition, things that you're wanting to change and sort of bring down into the physical, but what you're doing is you're dreaming. And I want you to understand that just because you're a fire sign, Fire sign is really about inspiration. It's about the desires, the true desires that you have deep within your heart. All of those desires are already rooted, right? You're, they're rooted in the physical. And so because you have the fates card, what this is really telling me is that you don't have to do a lot of work when it comes to manifesting. Things sort of just tend to happen automatically for you. And that is because you are very grounded in the physical. Even though you are a fire element, um, that the, the fire within you that inspires you and sort of fills that desire also helps you move things into action, okay? Um, we then move into the Ace of Cups. And what I love here with the Ace of Cups is that um, you are opening up to a newer way and understanding of unconditional love. I'm sort of picking up that you, what, what's really going on is that you're sort of, um, some of you in the collective are sort of experiencing relationships in the aspect that they're making you the relationships that you're experiencing are making you understand love at a deeper level, but also understanding that a lot of the love that you might have experienced was very superficial, right? This talks about deep love, deep connected love, connected love that connects you to everything on the planet, both plant and animal and everything outside of the planet, like in the stars and the galaxy. Um, you're sort of coming to this understanding and this awakening that everyone is connected, that you all have this connectedness and this oneness. Um, you're opening up to this greater understanding of love and you're allowing yourself to fill up with love so that you could give more love. Okay, so now we're going to look at the overall energy. And the overall energy is the Seven of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, I love these this two combo together because the Wands, the Seven of Wands is really about you standing in your power and you're guarding yourself, you're protecting yourself, and you're sort of isolating yourself at this moment. And that's quite all right. Like, I really feel that right now with so much of the um, inner, like the chaotic frequency that's going on in the planet right now, a lot of people in the collective, especially light workers, are really protecting themselves. They're grounding themselves, right? And this really represents you grounding yourself because you feel connected to not only earth, but also to that higher aspect of yourself that's within the fates, right? It's within your destiny to, to really remember who you are at the core and you're protecting that. And by protecting that, you're starting to see that all of the experiences that you've encountered in this life have really um, gifted you with so many things so many opportunities, so many ahas, right? You're, you're grateful for all of the experiences that you've had. And you're also recognizing that they've all taught you something, right? You're standing tall, you're independent, and you don't necessarily need anyone to, um, to make you feel that you are of value or of you or of worth. You already know that. And 
you're at peace with everything that has transpired in your life and you're working hard. Um, you're working hard to create the reality that you, that you know is already uh, rooted in the physical, right? Um, I sort of feel like this is just spirit's way of confirming to you where you are in your spiritual growth. Um, because then we move into the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords and the rest of these cards are really going to be the steps or the actions that you take to get you to the outcome, okay? So the Knight of Swords really um, speaks to me about quick action, right? Like maybe you've come across um, in your actual spiritual growth or in your spiritual awakening where you sort of feel like you're being guided to do something. Maybe you're wanting to start a YouTube channel. Maybe you're wanting to start a podcast or a blog. Um, maybe you feel like the things that you've learned, you want to share and you sort of feel like maybe you're unsure. You're unsure if you should do that. And this Knight of Swords is really asking you to really take action on that, right? Like understand that somewhere, somehow, what you have to share or what you have to say will reach someone and who's whoever is meant to hear it or see it is meant to see it or hear it right the nine of swords is really about taking very quick action but it's also about communicating like so you're really going to want to communicate with your intuition like really tune into your intuition what is your intuition telling you what is your intuition guiding you because right after that we have temperance right so if your intuition is telling you maybe now is not the right time, maybe you need to wait just a little bit longer, then maybe that's something that you need to do. Um, I also want to point out that in the Knight of Swords, you can see the red bottom part of his shoe, right? And I immediately tune into that red because I'm like, red to me automatically means stop. But in this particular case, I'm sort of feeling like this is... Um, represents your root chakra. So really make sure that you feel secure in yourself and in your belief in who you are before you decide to go on this adventure of sharing your truth with others because you don't want to be uprooted from that. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So with temperance, temperance is really about um, patience, right? It's about patience, but it's also about um, divine flow. It's really about you recognizing that um, there is a um, certain flow of how things operate and how things go. Um, and that there's a certain, that there are certain times, it's, it's like a balance. It's a balance of both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Um, and so in this perspective, it's really going to be important that you be very in tune with your own intuition so that it provides you with, so that you know exactly what it is you do with that, okay? Um, we then move into the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups talks about nostalgia. It talks about something from the past. Um, and I feel that in this perspective of where it sits, it's really about you, um, sort of being open to unconditional love and recognizing that the experiences that you've experienced in your past really brought you to where you are today, okay? Um, the Six of Cups really looks, wants you to sort of look at things as um, you feel satisfied and okay and you know that the experiences that you've experienced have helped you become the better version that you are today, okay? And then last and last and then last but not least, our outcome card is the sun. Leo, I could have not asked for a better card as your outcome, the sun. Now, I want to be the first to tell you that out of all of the zodiacs, out of the signs today, um, you're probably the first one that has sort of had this message where it's a confirmation that you are on the right path. You are on the right track. You are doing everything you should be. Um, and this was sort of just a confirmation that you, um, 
that you are truly tuning in to that inner aspect of you, right? You're truly allowing your, your, you're healing the wounds and the things that need to be healed from your childhood. And you're really allowing your light to shine, um, even if it's just internally for now until you are ready to share your story. Because I really feel like there are some of you out in the collective right now, um, Leo, that are meant to share certain aspects of your story. Um, that isn't going to be for everyone. That's going to be for like a certain few. You'll know who you are when you hear this. Um, but I feel that ultimately your ultimate outcome is this was a, just a confirmation that you are on the right track. You're on the right path. You're doing everything um, very well. And don't be so hard on yourself because you're achieving happiness. And that's the important thing. You're achieving happiness and healing. So I want to get an additional card just to see if there's any additional information the angels have for us. So angels, archangels, guides, do you have any additional information for my Leos this month? Okay, so right away I got um, cleansing storms, okay? Now this, to me, really, sh really shows, the cleansing storms, really shows that Number one, you're doing the healing, right? With the sun energy and the temperance, right? Um, and the six of cups, which was right here at the bottom of the deck, with the bottom of your spread. Um, because the cleansing storms really is about um, recognizing that every experience you've experienced is really teaching you how to become a higher version of yourself. And it's cleansing you from the inside. You're allowing yourself to let it go. Um, and I feel that that's, that's the important part, right? Like that is the, the part of you that truly, um, you're just, you're being cleansed. Um, every, every tear that you shed, every, every trigger that you really look at and you allow yourself to sort of be open to exploring that and working through it cleanses you that much further. So Leo, I hope that you enjoyed this message. Thank you so much for joining me today. That is all that I have for you. And I will see you next time in your next message. Namaste guys.